London appears to have remained calm with a heavy police presence on the streets. This has caused some disruption to Oxford city centre, in particularly St Aldate's, which needed to be closed uh, for a couple of hours this afternoon. Uh, St Aldate's is now open. Um, so we do apologise for any inconvenience caused by that. But uh, unfortunately it was unavoidable uh, and was necessary to maintain public safety. The operation has gone very well. It has been challenging. It's been a busy day for us. Uh, we have had uh, a couple of incidents of minor disorder throughout the day. Been very, very much. The earth is flat. Hang on, what's this blue pack? And those are currently being uh, dealt with and investigated at this time. <laughs> I would like to thank the uh, people of Oxford and all the visitors today for uh, their patience for the disruption that was caused. Well, I don't know why you're following me. Listen, I've never seen none of this on the way coming, yeah? Um, uh, but I hope that they saw a, uh, a good policing operation. Why are we following you, Jonathan? You're driving us to a bloody block end. We will continue to, uh, to uh, have dialogue with the community over the next few hours to keep you updated with what is going on. Don't do no more, no, no more navigating, John, all right? Who's got the navigation experience here now, John? Let's just be fair here. You're the sailor. Exactly. <laughs> but actually, this is quite good fun because we just discovered some shit, didn't we, really? Hundreds of Londoners turn out with brooms to help with the clean-up. God. On the way to a hundred odd people, I would say. Yeah, it is a good turnout. Yeah. How many do you reckon? Someone said 30. 30, just over, just under, around 30, I think. And then uh, Martin said, at least a hundred. Hang on, what's this blue pack? What's this blue pack, Jonathan? Oh my god, only Jonathan S. Sayers was born there. Eh? That's all, folks.